Hey, Ms. Matt, welcome back to the shop. No. My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop. And number 10. Number 10. Number 10. This is custom made seat cover space exclamation. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do it. I've got to be really quick. Life is short. It depends. Stay focused and fly above the drama. No one gets out alive. DBG is Del Boy's garage. I would have thought. He's now quoting himself instead of actually just saying it. He's writing it on a shite board. And then just not... Oh, what the hell? Oh, I pressed the... Can you see cover? Whoa! <laughs> Oh, that looks great, doesn't it? It's definitely one of them safety braces you give to someone who's got downs. What, what is that? I just noticed there's like loads of... Is that overspray or is that just crap? Who knows? Well, good morning. Welcome back. Now, for day 10 of the project, I'm going to have some fun making a seat cover for my motorcycle. Now, I've never done this. This isn't day 10. And you've never fitted a seat cover before. Come off it. I fitted the R5 seat cover. Yeah. And the... I've done loads, actually. I said uh, loads. I've done about five, six, maybe. The hands up. Loads, loads. I do not know what I'm doing. With ever. <laughs> Come on, Del. Ever. Remember, why aren't you... I saw you drilling. I saw you drilling last week or the last month or whenever it was. And... um why is this sat funny? There we go. So, I've got the keyboard on my, my lap. Um, and you didn't have your oil and water mix. Where's it gone? I thought you knew how to do this. With upholstery or trimming, I have to stitch a seat line along the front somehow. I borrowed a sewing machine from... Oh, my God. You are... <laughs> Nana, and I've bought myself some seat vinyl. Proper stuff. And hopefully, with the old seat... eBay cover as a pattern i'm probably going to be able to make the relevant oh come on the pattern isn't the hard the pattern isn't the hard bit not for something like that, surely i'd i i've fitted seat covers i've never actually made one this is gonna be really good Dell the seamstress hold on to your cocks pattern parts and then sew them together with a sewing machine but i've never used a sewing machine so this could be a monument You've never used a sewing machine i have lo literally loads of times will fail and a right disaster at the end of it but it doesn't matter because if it is weirdly enough i've bought two sewing machines i can give nana back herself not for me but I, yeah i've used lo lots of sewing machines sewing machine i can stick the remaining vinyl on the internet for sale and i can go and see a trimmer and get the job done properly but either way i'm determined to have a go so let's do it why does nana keep i d don't believe you you see i think you're a liar is lying, right? He got the sewing machine off Nana. Does Nana keep it in the polystyrene in its box? Why? Right, look, have you noticed? Look, look, his, his spray bottle's broken probably because he's put a, a, a solvent in it that's corroded the pump seals, so he just tips it out the bottle. Look. <laughs> oh, I know exactly why that's gone wrong. Right. You've got a workbench. What are you doing? Do it there. This moth eating old thing is the original. No moth ate that. It's fine. You took it off. We'll cover that I took off. Now, if this happens to fit over my new reshaped seat, then I can use this as a pattern. Why if it don't you just use that? It doesn't, then I can't, and it gets more complicated. So let's see, first of all, if that fits. That fits. Right, now that is as near as damn it going to work as a pattern. This material is stretched out to maximum. There's hardly any give in it. And yet I still managed to get it over 
and it will go all the way around and there's only a couple of little areas I need a bit more material where I've changed the shape of it. I need to give a little bit more in the rear and in these two... <laughs> Del, stop reminiscing about your days in prison. Two front corners, I need a little bit more material to stretch right over, but apart from that, those two considerations and the fillet at the front that I've got to stitch in, hopefully I should be able to use this as a pattern with those few adjustments. What do you need a sewing machine for? Let's go. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Oh, right, that bit. Oh, they saw you coming, didn't they? Look how much he's bought. Oh, he's got Nana's chalk. I'd give yourself a, at least a metre every side. <laughs> wow, symmetric. You just can't symmetrical, can he? You just can't. He can't symmetrical. Why don't people use leather? The reason why seats don't last is because they're made out of this crap. This vinyl crap. You're going to do a custom bike, make it out of leather. If you don't know how to do leather, I don't, I'd give it to someone else who does. Right, now, taking these two apart, that's the filling panel and that's the cover, and laying it on top, although they were stitched together, they're nothing like the same shape because one... Well, yeah, otherwise it'd be just flat then, wouldn't it? One has to curve on the outside. And this one... is maybe why he doesn't understand about English wheels and Chinese wheels and metal forming. Is he doesn't realise that to go round a shape, it can't be flat. One curves round an inside. So following the stitch lines and drawing them like a template straight onto a new piece, that's what I've got to do here. This is the filling panel. That's beautifully symmetrical. The line of stitching. Well, look at it. <laughs> can't believe it. The dotted line. And it's got to follow this line of pen around the outside. So I've got to obviously do a couple of stitches, <laughs> then manipulate it, and a couple but more. you've never used a sewing machine before. And keep doing that, and bringing them together all the way around. I, I just want to see him, I just want to see him line up a, a sewing machine, or even even thread a bobbin, right? This, this, this. So that line follows that line. And in theory, once I've done that, it should have a curve that turns inside out and it's like a pocket that fits over the front of the seat and I can staple it onto the base. I love how you're talking like you know what you're talking about. That's in theory how it works because that's how that worked and I've simply copied it. If it doesn't work, then I'm lost. But this is a practice piece, so let's see how it goes. You're not gathering, are you? wasn't even symmetrical. Right, let's see. Oh, you're just stopping. No, no, right, right, Del. Right there, you see that little hook? There's a blade in there. You drag it up and oh, you drag it up and pull it over, it cuts it for you. They're all over sewing machines, these little blades. Right, number two, you didn't do a back step. So you, there's a little jog, there's usually a jog button somewhere or on the selector drum. This is quite a simple machine. But you do a back step, so it basically repeat. It goes back on itself, and that's how you, that's how you end a stitch. If you just end a stitch, it'll just unzip like a stitch. So what you got to do is you got to go stitch, 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 and then back, 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 and then stitch, stitch, stitch. That's what it does. It's a back step. Perfect. Like a glove. <laughs> it's not even symmetrical. 
Oh, shit. That'll do. Right, having got the, certainly the technique of sewing that front piece on. Nailed. Understood. Oh. I'm up against it on two fronts. Firstly, this material is twice the thickness of the stuff that came off. This that's probably because that's old as well. It's really thin. It's almost like polythene, typical factory rubbish. This is typical factory rubbish versus my foam filled eBay special. Is good quality thick seat vinyl. So from, from where, Del? It's thicker. When I turn it in on itself, I'm getting puckers on the corner. And it's understanding how to reduce the amount of material that's on the inside. That's because you're, you're not pinching it. Whatever. I turn it over on itself so that it still forms a nice line on the outside. That's a little bit more fun. So I'm going to practice a little bit longer with this and try and get that right before I put it to the real piece. So why don't you... Symmetrical. Look how symmetrical that is. I can see it from here, it's not symmetrical. What are you doing now? Ah, oh, right. This is what they're doing. This is. I I wish I was a, a proper seamstress. I could just laugh my ass off and tell you exactly what he's doing wrong. That's just gonna tear me. There you go, you see the back you see the back jog there? It backs up, it pushes a button, oh, well, it holds a button and it goes back. It basically just makes the foot go back. Oh, done. Done. Right, so one thing you're not doing, you're not pulling. Get If you're going to do this, if you're really into this shit, get an air-fed staple gun. The reason why is you don't want to be levering on these things to get them to go through the plastic because you've got to really push with these jobbies and manual jobbies. You want to be pulling and then you just want to pull, pull, pull and just come and go poof, like that with no effort needed. You get what I mean? So you can concentrate on pulling everything tight. It, he's, he doesn't like his pulling anything tight. just lazily just yeah click 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 the reason why the, the reason why you need to do this is because as soon as you sit on it as soon as you put your ass on it it's going to cause it to ripple up and it needs to be it needs to be under tension super tension to resist that otherwise you sit on it five times you start to get these ripples in it that's nowhere near tight enough It might it might look all right, and then you sit on it, and then you you use it for about you know ten days, a, a couple of weeks, and then it starts to get these in the middle starts to get these little ripples where you you you're stretching the material. That's it. You need as many staples in it as you can get. Oh, I was seeing the bit you did. God, that's such a bad seat, isn't it? Right, big up to all the trimmers and upholsterers out there that do this for a living. There's What's this giant sodding great big gap for? There's a reason for your wallet. Why this trade is a five or seven year apprenticeship? Because there are technical skills to learn properly, technically at college, and that's technical skills to work properly, technically. It's skills.
why when you try and do it yourself, it comes out average at best. I've got some good quality vinyl, a good quality staple gun, and I've made a reasonable job of it. It's okay. If it was any more technical than this, I wouldn't have attempted it at all. I'd have took it to a trimmer. All I did was stitch one seam across the front to get that curve on these corners. And I copied the old cover to do that. So there were no skills involved here. I just had a All right, it's been honest. Go at it. Use a little bit of practical common sense and I seem to have pulled off an okay result that I'm happy with on this bike in the mode this bike is in if that makes sense and it is a, a, a generational gap better than the shit you did before with that scrim net anyway that's it for today thank you for watching join us in the next one and I think we'll make a start on the clock mount I'll see you then awesome welding it's getting better more of this please like the last video more of this please it's all right, it's crap, but it's a crap bike. It, it, it's almost symmetrical. It's, it's a lot more symmetrical than his last tail. He's <laughs> anti-symmetry, is Del. That is a real short one, but... This is the thing, right? If there isn't much to slag off, then there isn't much to slag off. If there isn't much to pick apart, it's something that I, I've done sewing before, generally because you buy your missus a sewing machine, and it's like, how does this work? You do technical stuff. Then I read the instructions, and it tells you how to, like, you know, thread the machine up and all that rest of it, and then it's just you play around with a bit, and you go, oh, yeah, this is this this is simple enough. Nothing, nothing... Pattern making, I think, is more complicated. Sewing is the easier part of it. Using a sewing machine is the easier part of it. Knowing how to... Like when you watch these How It's Made's where they're making baseball mitts in really thick leather and you see them with them industrial machines, you know, like the, the Mitsubishi machines or whatever. And they've got that post. It's like a shiny post. and Like using a power hammer, but it's a bloody sewing machine. They're amazing. Um, and and surges and stuff like that, all these different kinds of machines and stuff like that. But uh, it is all right. I didn't think that was too bad. And he did say, you know, I've done a... It's when he goes, oh, I feel epic. And it's crap. It's on fire in the background. He's like, I feel epic. It's like, all right, okay, cool. Any road, yeah, so more like this. The, the last video, this is, the, this is what lets you down. The last video with the handlebars was better if they're using a wall plug a, you know a, um but his finishes are still terrible have a bit more pride because how long do you think it took him to polish polish up those bar end weights and lacquer them and then make a threaded insert it's a couple of hours in it and that's it that's one video for the weekend another video is get out nana's sewing machine that comes brand new out of the box which i don't believe is brand new at all and uh, off Nana's, it's probably not even Nana's. Uh, it's probably pennies. Um, but yeah, whatever. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.